I really like country music. Like, I really like country music. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to react to uh, Geography Now, all 50 US states summarized. Uh, I've watched, this is not the first 50 state video I watch. Uh, in fact, I, I, I'm pretty good, I think, at memorizing uh, the American states. However, I don't know much about them. Like, a lot of the states, I don't know, Wyoming, a lot of those states are like a big mystery. And I think from a, uh, from a foreigner perspective, you only hear about, the, like, you know, California, Texas, New York, um, and maybe like Florida, Georgia. Uh, on election day, of course, you hear a lot about Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. But other than that, uh, the others are pretty like secluded i don't know let's just watch it and i would like you to do me two favors one if you could uh donate me on my patreon link that'd be great and two subscribe so we can hit 1000 subscribers and uh, monetize our channel that'd be really interesting if i can make you know a little bit of money uh through these videos so let's watch hey jugger peeps so this is a little video that i kind of wanted to make for a while but never really had time until now so of course the majority of geography now subscribers are from you know my home country the u.s however we do have a very very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the u.s and some of you have expressed you know a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states you know kind of function or what they're like each state does kind of have yeah, their true. own unique individual qualities and i'm gonna try my best to explain each that. and every single one of them to you right now alabama we're both white people and black Black people are poor, but they party equally hard. Roll Tide! No, but seriously, Alabama is oh. kind of like where the Confederacy started. I didn't, like, I knew about this flag. Now I know better. It's like the Confederate flag. Uh, I, and I knew, like, you, you see the movies, you see, like, I've seen this pattern before, but I didn't know it was, like, uh, like a bad flag. In fact, for me, it, it, like, it looks cool, you know, like, uh, this is a cool pattern, you know? Uh, However, when I learned what it meant, and I was like, okay. Um, by the way, me, I think Mississippi is going to like remove this, you know? Uh, someone told me on the comments on one of my videos that Mississippi is gonna change the flag. Oh, shit. I don't know how to type, dude. Um, but yeah, I think this is like the old one, you know? And this this has to be like the new flag i mean it looks cool this doesn't uh you know bother me but again when you know about the the flag's history i don't know it's about the citizens right and the citizens of mississippi decided uh this has to change for this which i mean it's also good looking you know it's definitely more modern anyway let's go let's 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 Listen about Alabama. So, uh, yeah, Civil War. Alaska, America's refrigerator. Seriously, this is like where we stockpile up all our resources that we won't tap into until things get really messed up. It's huh. the largest and coldest state. You can find polar bears and the native Yupik people. Arizona, the Grand Canyon state. This is kind of like the King Desert state of the U.S. Arizona is also home to the largest Indian reservation, Navajo Nation. Arkansas, basically just read the book Where the Red Fern Grows. It basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people okay. here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of any state in the country. We saw California, that. my home state. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow for some reason seceded from the US, it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful economic superpower. So obviously California holds a high position of geopolitical influence in our country. Nonetheless, California is still heavily dependent on the US government. We're the home of the entertainment capital. It's huge, huh? Honestly, uh, California, it's a massive state. I've only visited San Diego, haven't visited uh, LA. Uh, I think San Diego is a great place to be uh, i heard a lot of trash about california so i wasn't that excited to go uh but in and out was my, one of my favorite things uh in the world uh san diego is just like very chill like you know you definitely feel the the, the smoke you know once i got out and got to the city center in san diego i kind of smelled a little bit of you know marijuana odor so that's that's you know <laughs> i kind of like that uh but other than that you know it seems like a pretty cool place uh I don't know. The world. You tell me. Three of the largest tech companies in the world are in Silicon Valley. Crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. Colorado, our healthiest he state, which California. has the lowest levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, fresh air and enjoy those mountains. Just uh, be careful if someone offers you a chocolate <laughs> truffle or a brownie. They Hell yeah, you gotta, you know, uh, 
If you're from Colorado, offer me one of those. I want one of those. Those new cannabis laws. Connecticut is like the gentler, cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. Delaware, the first state to become a state. And that's oh, really? like literally all they got going for them. I think they have like a cardboard box factory. Florida, America's swampy playground. Seriously, like none of the houses here have big. Yeah, I, I think uh, I've heard a lot of trash on Florida. I don't know why. It seems like a cool place. I visited Miami a lot and I went to Orlando. Um, I don't know why it's a bad place. I, I really like it. I mean, I guess a lot of people are going to say, dude, you got to get outside Miami or the big cities uh, to maybe experience the real Florida. I don't know. But it seems like a pretty chill place, dude. Like, I don't know why people hate Florida. Basements, because if you just dig down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland, so they oh, built wow. Disney World. They made it bigger, and then like 8,745 other theme parks opened up. Georgia, the peach state. Home to Coca-Cola and the busiest airport in the US. Boiled peanuts and Little Miss Beauty pageants. Yeah, some places do that in America. Hawaii, the last state to become a state. Before we made Hawaii into a state, it was actually its own country. Like, it was a Polynesian country. They had their own monarchy and everything. Lily Pulani <laughs> was the last queen. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, you know the rest. Hula surfing, pineapples, luau's, yada, yada, yada. Idaho. The only fact that most Americans know about Idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state. I mean, apparently <laughs> they have some cool secluded spots like hot. Oh, man. Come on, dude. The only thing people know about Idaho is that they grow potatoes. Uh, I don't know, Idaho. That seems kind of sad springs and gorges. Otherwise, I feel like the people in Idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we don't know about. Illinois, ah, the land of Lincoln. Even though Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Now, I actually grew yeah, up a large portion enough. of my childhood in this state, and a lot of people know this place by another name, Chicago. Seriously, like, half the time, people don't even know what state Chicago is in. And historically, it was known as, like, the slaughterhouse of America, partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered, and also because eh, there was kind of, like, a little bit of a mafia past. Indiana is, like, Illinois' annoying little brother... We saw that. Remember the prohibition video? Who took the town of Gary away from Chicago and then they get to claim that they have the birthplace of Michael Jackson. No, but seriously, like the only interesting thing from here is like the Indy 500 car race. Otherwise, John Green is from here. Iowa. Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, and they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is the heart of the Midwest. Famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah, and this is true. literally the flat. Like she wanted to go back to Kansas. That was the whole point of the movie. Like her wanting to go back. That, that's funny. State in our entire country. Ah, Kentucky, you with your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and horse derbies. It's also home to Fort. I mean, honestly, Kentucky seems such a great, a great place. You know, chicken, bourbon, whiskey, horse racing. That, I mean, that's, what else do you want? Knots where we hide all our gold. Louisiana, ha, oh, now y'all coming down here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get the real couture cajon. Vous comprenez mon ami? Louisiana is one of the only few states what? left in the U.S. that has concentrated francophone communities that speak oh, French. Oh, okay, so he was like French. Known for the bayou and a diet high in crawfish and crabs, reptiles and other swamp creatures. This place is unlike anywhere else in the U.S. Maine, nice. the lobster state. This is like where all the tough Atlantic sailors come and live and have houses on fog. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen those like shows about like fishermen on like National Geographic and stuff. And I think I've heard like Maine, you know, like on that show. With lighthouses. Maryland. Maryland is like home to the richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also love crab. Crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab. You cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts is like the library fan. of America. And it has our best university, indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three different types of people from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual gritty. They all believe they are better than the other two. Michigan. <laughs> I am so sorry. You were doing so well in the early 20th century. You're like one of the richest oh, states, but then you kind of filed the Detroit. largest municipal bankruptcy case in U.S. history. Minnesota. I was actually born there. Minnesota is kind of like the Finland of America. Plus, there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that live there as well. The land of 10,000 lakes. And if I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey, kids, let's go grab our bags and read the magazines. Yeah, I grew up with that accent. Mississippi. This is like probably America's truest, deepest southern southern. That flag, though. Some butter on my grits. 
state. Speaking of butter, yes, they are the fattest state. Just, <laughs> they are. They love their churches, pecans, or pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Oh, Missouri, really? America's gateway nice job, to the Mississippi. Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind of acting like a buffer zone. Today, they are known for their Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City is actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Huh, Las Vegas hilarious. for old people. And people who probably collect those tacky figurines and put them in their china cabinets. Sorry, Missouri, just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Montana, <laughs> America's big, empty, mountainous, may as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. I mean, seriously, you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne. Nebraska, corn and steak. That's literally like their only attraction. Or <laughs> Warren Buffett, the second richest man in America lives here. Nevada is like California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas <laughs> alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. Rock on, Nevada. New Hampshire is kind of like a small, Autumn Wonderland with beautiful. I like Nevada. I wanted to do like a, uh, my 21st birthday party in Las Vegas, but that was kind of a stupid and expensive idea, so kind of just threw that away. Foliage and wooden covered bridges, home to Dartmouth, the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich and very angry. Like they don't even try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go crazy on the dance floor or crazy on each other. New Mexico is like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened and now he came out with like six pack abs and a sleek new look. And uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens uh, landed. True. New York is kind of like where so Roswell, much of American yeah. history got its roots. Most Caucasian Americans that have ties to immigrants from the 1800s can trace their ancestors back to Ellis Island where most Europeans came in. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes and they never sleep. Seriously, like this whole place never stops moving. North Carolina, the first in-flight state in which the Wright brothers flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca-Cola's arch nemesis, Pepsi, was born here. North Dakota, congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access Pipeline, controversy drama thing. In addition to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio oh, is like nice. the most plain Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer with fireworks and carnivals. They also have the largest Amish population out of any other state. Then election time. That's, that's kind of the America you as a foreigner like want to go. Like you want to experience the full on America like carnival, uh, corn dogs, like yeah, that's that's kind of what you want to experience when you go. Comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma, America's tornado state. Now, pretty much all of the Midwest gets tornadoes. However, Oklahoma, dang, you get hit hard. Oregon, it started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state with burly men with axes and chainsaws. But then one day the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore. So they all just kind of moved <laughs> up north. Now Oregon is like this weird lumberjack, vegan hipster hybrid freak show with good donuts. Pennsylvania, America's history state. We should have had our capital over here and technically at one point our congress yeah, did actually meet in right? philadelphia if you want a real american history story come here rhode island our smallest state and it's not even an island it's not even a peninsula <laughs> the heck rhode island anyway they were one of the original 13 colonies and other than that they really don't have much else going for them i mean they're home to the fictional city of quahog in the uh, family guy true that's yeah that's true. south carolina these people love the <laughs> tobacco fud that's literally everything i was thinking about this was uh, about family guy and how they're in rhode island walnuts and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. South Dakota, the other Dakota. Home to Mount Rushmore, America's most iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the Crazy Horse Monument. Otherwise, like North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians, mountain folk, bluegrass, country music, Music artists all come here and hope by the way interesting fact i really like country music like i really like country music like i really like country music most of making record deals now everybody knows about texas texas was at one point even its own country and in texas everything is bigger football <laughs> or american football is basically a religion barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food groups cattle ranches <laughs> are everywhere and contrary to popular belief most texans don't really mind mexicans or mexican culture as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new tex-mex culture that fuses both of them utah basically everybody kind of knows this place as being like america's more 
Mormon state. Salt Lake City is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire state's population is registered with them. Otherwise they have great skiing, the Sundance Festival comes here all the time, and they have great eroded rock formations like my favorite site in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind of like New Hampshire's smaller twin brother that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise the only other thing that they got going for them is Ben and Jerry's. Like seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next <laughs> Michigan. Virginia is kind of oh, like wow. where everything started with the US. Essentially the British came in, they tried to start a little small town, and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened, and then Disney made everything incredibly accurate. It holds so much history. So Virginia and Pennsylvania, those are like the two history states. Washington, the evergreen state. Basically, imagine the exact same scenario with Oregon, except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam! Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Oh, and a volcano erupted in the 80s, and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West huh. Virginia is like the southernmost like state that was actually part of the Union during the Civil War. It was like, nope, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. The average age is about 40, and we get a lot of coal from here. Wisconsin, America's dairy land. America's election state. That everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally do. My friend Bill, he's actually the one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along with. They have the best stories. They're also like home to the country's most attractive, chubby people. They don't care. They own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming, home to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. Beautiful place, waterfalls, shooting guys, hot actually springs, like really tons beautiful. of buffalo, and it's kind of like the training grounds for actual cowboys. And here's a little bonus, Washington DC, our capital. Oh, yeah, Although true. it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here, sometimes. Congress assembles, mostly. All the museums in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. There's statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being watched. Security cameras are everywhere. So have fun. I mean, it's the home not of too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. All right, now very quickly before we end this video, just please stay, please, just listen. As you guys know, I've mentioned this before. I'm trying to work to save up for okay, my- Okay, yeah, I don't think we, we need to hear that last bit. Uh, okay, I kind of gained some perspective of, of like the, the American states. Uh, it was a lot of information just to like, like condense it. Like I wanted to talk about every single state, but if that were the case, I was, like, I was going to talk too much and this video would have been like 30 minutes long and I didn't want that. Um, however, you know, I, I, I love how each state in a way it's very unique. And then you have like regions, like I don't know, the Midwest, the South. Uh, I, I like that. I, I wish I could uh, travel more to America. I want to visit like the small towns. I want to visit the, the big cities. I've only, I mean, I visited nothing to America. Like I just, a couple big cities and that's it. So... I definitely hope to be like experiencing more of the American experience. And yeah, that's it. If you like this video, give it a share, give it a subscribe. Please help me out on my Patreon. And let's let's make this channel grow. Okay. So um give me some recommendations on what do you want me to react next and I'll see you in the next video.